man. What the fuck? Yeah, you're all right, girl. Oh no. Yeah. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Easy, girl. Talk about a close fucking call. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. It's our buddy. But I. But I. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. How are you? Howdy, sir. Can I get a buck, mister? Of course. You know right? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. Howdy. That's it. And straight to the bar. Oh, sigh. How'd you do? Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Before the video starts, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more shitty content. Leave a like on the video. Smash that like button. And, uh, enjoy the show. Just tried buying a gun and got refused service. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've got the police all fucking over me. I'm gonna stop in here real quick, get some horse provisions, and we'll set out. Alright. Looking nice and clean. Let's go take care of that Thomas Down mi mission. Downs. Well, my pockets are feeling like about time we went on a What? You heard that. What? Is that you talking? That was definitely that guy screaming, right? Oh, what the fuck? Come on, the girl. Hell does that sound? I mean, you heard that, right? Easy. Whoa. Whatever. Ain't got time for it. Oh boy. Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? I see him. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't know. There have it is. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. 
We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Fuck. Oh, chills down my goddamn spine. So would set forth a train, a chain of events that would change Arthur's life forever. you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money well people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions of course ah <sighs> oh, i fucking hate him All right. Yes, Miss yes. Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Always. What are you doing, Bill? Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. All right, hold on. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but Turn I off that fucking radio. Now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. <sighs> yeah, except she ain't mine. Well, we wish she was. Am I right, boys? These hoes. They keep hurting me. They keep hurting my boy, Arthur. Alright, so this one definitely was a shorty. But a goodie. 
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you did, don't forget to subscribe for more shitty content. Uh, I don't get paid for this, so... There we go with the shitty content. And, uh... Leave a like if you liked the video. Thanks for making it all the way to the end, and... You will watch me... In the next one. Thanks again.